Hey everyone, long, long time no see, Cyclone from Psyche Prod's YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, give a follow, like, share, all that fun stuff, um, because of some physical situations I'm having right now, my 2023 fishing season, not happening, so what am I doing? I'm planning for next season already. And yes, I get it, you know, like the saying goes, you don't know what tomorrow brings, you can never plan for tomorrow. Well, I'm planning for next year already. Um, I'm doing a bunch of DIY projects, and hopefully one at a time I'll be able to bring them up to the pages to share with you guys, and hopefully you guys can then watch them and then reshare them. But, um... I want to, moving forward, expand from just pier and bridge fishing and do some bank fishing. Now, if you're like me, you can no longer stand for long periods of time, which, by the way, sucks. Um, you need a chair, and what I went out and did was I did a bunch of research on folding chairs and... I found what actually works best for me, which is the Mouton oversized camping folding chair. Um, got it on Amazon. Not that expensive. It was like $62. Um, I'll put the link in the description if I can figure out how to do that. Um, but it's Mouton, M-O-U-T-E-T-H-E-N, uh, oversized camping chair. And, uh... I'm going to do a quick pen, and then I'm going to break down how I did this DIY project. It holds two rods, and what I did was did one PVC pipe basically for freshwater stuff, which is a one and a half inch PVC pipe, and the other one is a two inch PVC pipe, more or less designed for my saltwater stuff. So this way I can sit and relax on a bridge, on a pier, on the bank, which is what it's meant to do. But um, here's a quick pen and I'll describe everything to you guys as we go on. And one of the things I like about this chair, let me zoom in, as you can see, move in, is the fact that there's a lot of extras on this chair. On this arm, you have a double zippered pocket. You can see the pocket right here. This side has the drink holder. And quite frankly, I really won't be using either one of those. But this chair also comes with, on the right side of the chair which I had to move to do this project, a very large uh, storage pocket. As you can see, it's upside down right now. Let me pull it around so you guys can see it. Hopefully you guys can see that nice and clearly. Okay. So, the other thing I like about this chair is extra lumbar support, and that's one of my issues right now, why I'm not fishing, is I have issues with my lumbar spine, which by the way, hopefully will be taken care of soon at Wild Cornell Medical Center, but um, let me show you guys how I did the PVC pipes a little bit differently than most of my PVC pipe holders. Um, did not flange the ends because flanging the ends of rod holders on a chair frame, you can't really connect it to the frame because obviously the lip of the flange, you know, just doesn't work. Originally, my plan though was to use steel uh, hose clamps. Didn't like the way that looked. You guys can use them, no problem. But I decided to go another way. 
I used one of my favorite things, zip ties. I used three 36-inch white zip ties for each rod holder, you know, on either side. And then I used Loctite PL3 Premium adhesive just in a couple of spots to attach the rod holders to the chair frame just to give it a little bit more support because the rod holders I have to admit even tied down completely were a little bit shaky so here's what it looks like and as you can see I didn't use a whole lot but I did use in some spots and what that means is these rod holders aren't going anywhere so let me just show you I can sit this chair actually holds 650 pounds which by the way I am far from um and there you go you can see no problem no problem and get a bite pull up take the rod out of the rod holder and reel that sucker in um by the way just to use tell you what i have here is my uh lose american hero and my daiwa samurai both used for fresh water though um yeah until next time, I am Cyclone from Psyche Prides, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Um, give a like, follow, share, all that fun stuff. And until my next DIY project where I get to show you guys what I'm doing this season, bye-bye. Um,